pretty little thing you got a bag and now you wildin you just took it out the line no mileage <laughs> It's your girl Taylor and I'm back with another freaking video. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you guys, happy Sunday. I thought it would be really fun um, now that for once in my life, okay, that's a little bit exaggerating here, but for once in a very long time on a Sunday, it's very sunny. Like, il fait du soleil. Like, I'm so happy. And I was like, okay, today is probably the perfect day to do a little haul. Um, I may end up recording a few hauls today, honestly, but today's haul is gonna be a collective haul, or at least for this video, at least. This video is gonna be a collective haul. Um, not too long. I noticed sometimes you guys like the shorter videos that are kind of 20 minutes or less. So I'm gonna try to keep it short and brief, but I wanted to show you guys a few things that I've gotten from a few different stores as opposed to some of my other videos that are like all Forever 21, all Zara, all H&M, all Fashion Nova, all Shein, etc. This is going to be a little bit more eclectic from a few different brands and um, I'm excited to kind of get started and I'll just, you know what, I'm going to start off with what I have on right now. So let's get into it. Excuse, I hope y'all haven't seen something you didn't want to see. Okay, so um, yeah, let me button this up a little bit. I mean, I guess it's kind of cute a little bit unbuttoned, but... I just don't want y'all guys to get flashed, but right now I have on this shirt from this company called Kid Super. A lot of you guys know that I love to wear men's clothes as well, um, kind of put a little bit of a feminine edge to them. So this is a men's shirt, but I love Kid Super because to my knowledge, he's like an artist, but um, kind of got into fashion, you know, years back. Like a lot of his pieces look super like creative, artistic, um, they look like just art, but <laughs> on clothing. Um, so when I saw this shirt, I loved it because the first thing I noticed, I'm gonna untuck it, but uh, how you guys see it where I have one tucked in, one side tucked in, one side, you know, left out is kind of how I would wear something like this. But this is a men's medium shirt. And if you get close, you see that there's a woman, like a black woman or a negrita, you know, on the on the left side. And then there's kind of like this zombie apocalypse looking man um, kind of on the right side. And then another man on the sleeve. Um, like it looks kind of like a picnic going on. I don't know, but I absolutely love it. It's really simple in the back. Is there anything on this side? Oh yeah. Just a lot going on. And it just looks like watercolor like on canvas or I, I love it. I wish I could have a lot more Kid Super stuff, honestly. I wish I could have got this like uh, in a larger size because I would have wanted to wear it with like short, like denim shorts or like um, biker shorts, etc. But this is what I was able to get. It was like $85. It was like heavily discounted. Um, either it was $100 or $85. But you know what? I think it might have been $100 because I remember being mad like a few weeks later seeing it for like $85 or like $75 and I was pissed because I'm like, dang, if I just waited a few more days, I could have saved 20 bucks, which is practically like free shipping because the shipping was 20 bucks. But nonetheless, I'm very happy with this shirt. Um, I have it paired right now just for like try on sake, but you guys have already seen this skirt. I got this skirt from Target. It's just like a denim skirt um i'm just kind of wore it like this for right now and ideally i would maybe like tape my boobs down or tape the shirt to my boobs etc um and just kind of wear it like this with like maybe a gold belt or you know just some really cool earrings but this is kind of how i would wear it like just very simple um and a little bit more like elevated but i'm still kind of playing around with it this was just one idea and then the shoes I have on right now are also part of this collective haul. I'm gonna take it off and show you really quick. Um, I was kind of gonna show all the accessories at the end, but since I have these on, I'll show them to you. These are some mesh heels from Zara. And I wanted some mesh heels because I just felt like they were a little bit more like 
elevated, classy, but like very just like, oh, I can wear this with anything, you know? Um, I will say the sizing is very strange for this because this one fits kind of. It's a little too big, but I think that there's a way I can work with it or only wear it, you know, here and there. Um, but I bought it in nude and it fits so differently. Whereas this, at least it like stays to my foot. But I will say uh, occasionally just, you know, now since I've never worn these out yet, but even while I was kind of walking around my apartment trying these on, they kind of like my heel would like pop out of them occasionally. And that's like super frustrating because I like my shoes to fit snug, honey. So I don't want to be a fall risk. <laughs> I like my shoes to fit. So I'm a little bit disappointed in this, but what I will say, I'm like really in my jean era right now. So I love like really interesting, um, unique looking jeans. And all of my jeans right now have been really long and I really wanted like a pointed toe to kind of just peek out some of those longer jeans or like wide leg kind of jeans. And this is kind of doing the trick for me. Um, I think it's gonna be like a nice staple for the summer. And I'm excited to kind of see what I'm able to do with these. So let me know what you guys think, but um, let me just show them together. This is what they look like. They're not very high, I will say that. They, these probably like maybe under four inches. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. But like I said, I bought them in like a neutral kind of beige color too, and they fit very differently. The sizing was always strange at Zara though, you know. If you know, you know. Okay guys, this is the next shirt. I absolutely love this because when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, it looks like I have on a bra and a tank top, like a, I'm sorry, a tube top. That's what I thought this looked like when I saw it. And now that I have it on, I'm like, it looks even better in person in my opinion. Like I have on a strapless bra underneath. I think it makes me look like super busty. It makes me look super grown. Like I can imagine this like peeking out under a blazer. I don't know. I think it also looks really nice with like my skin tone as well because uh, I don't know. I'm kind of like a strange skin tone. Like I'm kind of a little pale um, and like an in-between kind of color. It's kind of odd to me at least. No, no disrespect to the other fellow brown caramelly toned girls, but I wish I had a little bit more melanin. No disrespect to the other lighter toned women like me, but I'm just saying me personally, I would like a little bit more melanin. But with this shirt, I think that, I think it just looks really good, honestly. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but I really like this shirt. I'm gonna, you know, get out a little bit further so you can see it. Now I still have on the same denim skirt from before. But um, let me untuck it so you guys can get an idea of the length. Like it is a little bit cropped, but I think that this would look, kind of look good. Um, to be honest with you, you can, you can dress this up or you can make it casual in my opinion, but I don't know, I like it. I really do like it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear with quite yet, but I definitely think I'm gonna play up on the dressiness first. I think I might pair it with like some trousers first. Um, and then maybe even these shoes, honestly. Y'all see, these shoes are pointy as hell. Look at it. I hope y'all can even see me with these damn pillows over here. But yeah, these shoes are pointy as hell. Um, but we're gonna move on to the next thing. Uh, oh, this shirt is from Forever 21, actually. Didn't wanna let you know that because I have a few more things that I wanna show you from Forever 21 before we get into the next items. That's a little bit better. But um, next we have this set from Forever 21. It doesn't fit me the best. I wish it was a little bit looser and a little bit tighter here. Like, or maybe a little bit more cropped. I'm not sure, but it's just, I think that it needed to be a little bit bigger, but unfortunately they're sewed out in this color completely. I bought it in black too, but the black fit different. So I didn't even think it was worth me showing you because it was too tight. Okay, it was just too tight. And I liked this color anyway. Um, and unfortunately, I was not able to use any promo codes on these items. Like they were, 
exclusive if any coupons or any promos so I had to pay full price for this which was $45 but I'm not gonna lie the quality is actually very very nice um, and I say that a lot about Forever 21 honestly like even though their clothes are super affordable and you can like you know double sometimes or triple even sometimes the coupons I never really feel like Forever 21 is bad quality in my opinion like it doesn't give the same fast fashion as like some of these other brands that I shop at okay um, but this I really like. I felt like it was really classy, but I'm, like I said, I think it would have hit a little bit better if I was just a little bit smaller or this was a little bit bigger. Um, I need to stop with all the sugar, y'all, because I'm starting to see the effects, okay? I've been eating too good, and now it's the summertime, and I'm out here looking stupid, okay? I'm out here looking stupid. So we have a few weeks to get things together, but I'm just saying. Okay, but let me show you like a full kind of like 180, no, 360, sorry. Let me show you a full 360 of this outfit. Okay, hopefully you got to see everything, but it has like this faux pocket on the back. It is linen, like a linen kind of blend. Um, it's very thick though, but even though it's, you know, a thicker linen, you still starting to see the wrinkles showing, okay? So be mindful of that. Like, it doesn't matter the quality of linen, you're gonna see wrinkles, unless it's like mixed with silk or something, I don't know. But um, I like the vest, like I said, I do, y'all know I'm not very busty, so I feel like this is kind of like bunching up a little bit here, where I would love for it to just like lie flat. Um, the shorts are like a great length for me, because they don't show like, you know, any cellulite, like they're like the perfect length that goes underneath the cheek. Um, it's high waisted a little bit. I'm sure on somebody else, you know, um, and, and also maybe if I was a little bit smaller, it would fall down a little bit longer. That would be even better. I do wish that this vest was cropped, honestly. I think that, that it would look a lot cuter if it was like up to here, um, you know, and fell kind of right at the waist, but I don't have any problem with this. And then it gives me the opportunity if I wanted to, to wear them separately. So, um, I like that. Let me know what you guys think. But I can see myself wearing this with like an Oxford shirt underneath, um, wearing it by itself with just like some sandals and like a nice bag. Wearing the shorts with like a button down by itself. Like I think there's a lot I could do with this, honestly. And maybe, I'm not sure because for me, linen's kind of like a spring summer material, but maybe you could wear this with like tights and get away with it in like the beginning of the fall. I don't know if I would, but I'm just saying, it's probably a possibility, honestly. But let me know what you guys think. But for right now, I'm thinking about keeping it. And I wish that it would come back in um, maybe other colors or different sizes, or come back in stock in my size, because I think I would like to try a large. Like I said, this is a medium. And I'm 5'5", five, five, like 176 pounds right now. Yikes, that's kind of heavy, but I'm doing the best I can, okay? Y'all, I had to take a poppy break. Y'all, I love poppy. If any of y'all wanna get me a little gift, I love poppy, all the flavors, every single flavor. Okay, no, that's a lie. I could take or leave like the Coke and the, the pop. You know which one I'm talking about, the one that's kind of like a root beer flavor? I could take or leave those. But all the fruity flavors, I love. But, let me show y'all this little dress I got on because this is probably my favorite thing that I've got. And guess where it's from, you guys? Guess. Okay, let me have some respect. Let me put my poppy down. Yeah, it's from Pretty Little Thing. Pretty little thing, you got a bag and now you wildin'. You just took it off the line, no mileage. Okay, sorry, let me stop. But yeah, I absolutely love this dress. I was initially drawn to it because of the low neckline. I, y'all know I'm not very busty. I'm like a 36C or something like that. Uh, I feel like because of that, I can get away with wearing super low cut stuff because it never looks extremely provocative on me in my opinion. This though is a faux pas for me because it has a slit here, it's low cut, showing a lot of leg. I told y'all I don't really normally play like that. I usually pick a side and stick to it. So 
normally I would have just done the cleavage and maybe this would have been midi length or I would have done the leg and had this be closed up, you know, whatever. But this dress just had a lot going on, but for some reason I really, really liked it. And I thought even though it's super short, it may not be the most comfortable to walk around in. I'm wearing an S size eight, by the way. I do still like it. And this dress I actually think would look even better if it was a little baggier. Like it's very fitted in the waist, which is great. But y'all see it's kind of baggy on the arms, baggy in the shoulders, baggy in the chest area, at least on me. And I think that even if I lost like five or 10 pounds, I would still like really like this dress. Um, or maybe just get it taken in slightly, but I think that it would, I could still probably rock it even if I lost a few pounds. This is gonna be a problem though. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold you. This whole slit here, um, I don't want the coochie showing because, well, it's never gonna show because I'm one of those people that really always wears underwear, but like I have on underwear right now, maybe you just can't tell, but I am nervous about that. But I think that this might just be an outfit that I wear to dinner or just to like take pictures. Um, that's why I waited till it was on sale. Y'all, this is a really great quality dress. Like I could see something like this at maybe from Cult Gaia or something like that, but I got it for like 50 or $60. I waited till it was half off. I will say it's one of the pricier items at PLT. Um, it was originally like 130, but I got it for like, I wanna say like $60 or under $60. I think there was like a 55% off sale that day or 50 with an additional 10%. I can't quite remember, but I know I was happy with the price and for the quality, I'm not even gonna hold you. They did have it in black as well, but I, um, I sent back the black because it had like a big hole on the side for some reason. There was an issue with the zipper. So um, the moment I went to put it on, I was like, dang, there's a huge hole in it. So I had to return it and say that it was damaged. But um, I liked the black as well, but I think that I'm honestly gonna get a lot more use out of this. The black was a little bit more edgy because not only was it black, but the stitching was white. So the stitching was white here, but because of, you know, it's kind of blending in with the neutral, but it was black with like white stitching. I still really like that dress. I might get it, but for me, if I had to choose, I was choosing this, okay? Um, I will say the sleeves are very long, so I had in my mind to kind of like roll the sleeves slightly and make them look a little bit more scrunched because I thought that, that would be cute because maybe if I was wearing jewelry, then you could actually like see any bracelets or rings that I'm wearing easier. And it kind of added to the more like baggier look. But let me know what you guys think. So I'm gonna turn around. And what is it giving? It's giving like 80s. And I can't wait until my legs are tan because I'm looking at my legs right now and they're like snow white. I need to go beat by the pool. But unfortunately my body's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. So what am I supposed to do? But y'all, this was long. This was a very long conversation about this dress and I'm going on a tangent, but let me know what you guys think of this dress because I adore it. I think it is so different, so edgy. It's 80s with the big shoulder pads and it's just a lot going on, but for me at least, it, it works. Like, I really like it. Now, I know y'all gonna love this, okay? This is a shirt from a company called, whoo, almost fell, y'all. Um, Revice Denim. And they sell a lot more than just denim, but I love their super unique. Is that the, what's going on? Oh, I forget, police live in my building too. Um, I saw a police officer getting out of a, like a police truck and I was like, oh, he probably lives here. But um, yeah, Revice sells a lot more than just denim, but I love to kind of shop for their super unique denim pieces. Speaking of, I definitely ordered a shirt and it has not come yet. I ordered it like two months ago. Where is that shirt? That is one thing I do want to say about Revice. It's like some stuff is like sold out and you have to like wait weeks or months to get it. Let's see if they even still have this shirt by the time I post this and link it. It might be gone, y'all. But um, right now I have it. I've just kind of been playing around in my closet all day to be honest with you. But right now I have it matched with this maxi dress from a skirt set that I got from Shein. 
I think it's so cute. Like, look at it. I don't know why I was inspired to put these two together, but it's kind of giving ball gown, but like edgy 90s casual fun, you know? And I think I'm at my core just an edgy, sexy dresser. So I thought it was really cute. It has a zipper in the back. So, it, you know, and it doesn't stretch. So I do want to preface that. This does not stretch. So you have to like, I, I ordered a large. This is a size large and um, it is very tight, but for some reason I decided that I was okay with the kind of things spilling over kind of look because it made me look like I have cleavage. So I decided to keep it. And because nothing was like spilling out in the tummy area or like the upper ab area, I decided to keep it. And to my surprise, I actually really love it. Um, again, I don't want to talk too much about the skirt because you guys have already seen this and I don't want to be repetitive, but this is in my sheet and haul, which is like a few videos before this one. But yeah, I love it. And it kind of like, um, is like scrunched and ruched up and twisted up. And I thought that if I just put it over a little bit above the shirt, it would look so cute because I didn't really care for how it looked over. It's not bad, but it's just, I like I liked it better a little tucked in, if I'm being honest with you. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, but I think that this is a stunner. I cannot wait to wear this somewhere. And I like it again with a long skirt because I feel like it adds a little bit of balance to this shirt. Because like I said, if I wore this with a skirt or a super short skirt, I could probably get away with wearing it with like a red leather skirt or mini skirt. But I told y'all, I really like to pick an area. And I think with all this cleavage and stuff spilling out here, making it a little bit more modest on the bottom works for me. So let me know what you guys think. Okay, y'all. So this is a little bit random, but um, especially since we're damn near in spring. But I got this fur coat from Pretty Little Thing also. And I didn't get a chance to wear it because I had hoped to go to New York for the weekend, but I didn't get a chance and now it's probably too warm to wear something like this. So I'm gonna have to save this for next season. Um, but I really liked it and hold on, let me get it adjusted so I can show you how it's supposed to look. Cause it's kind of like double breasted. And then now that I got it buttoned up, oh, now that I got it buttoned up, it wants to freaking unbutton after it was so hard to, to do that. Okay, hold on y'all. How can it even unbutton is the question. Now that I have it buttoned up, I hope it stays, but I'm taking the uh, little kind of waist straps and I'm gonna double knot them because this material is super like silky kind of, it feels like real fur almost. So I have to double knot it because if not, it would actually untie, but yeah. I don't know, I, something about this I thought was really cool, like the whole kind of cropped kind of coat. It was giving like very 70s to me. And like I said, this actually feels so much like real fur. It's crazy, but I got this for like $70. What y'all think? Because it's giving. Like I think I got a size six. It does fit really oversized. If it's still in stock, I'm definitely gonna link it down below if any of you guys are like me and kind of like to buy stuff off season because that's when things are really on sale. Um, especially if you're buying stuff that you know you're always gonna love like for a lifetime. Um, it's better to buy it when it's on sale if you know it's like staple in your wardrobe or you've had your eye on it for a while. But I really do like this. I've been on the hunt for like a boucle, like long line blazer type coat haven't been successful but i was fortunate enough to find this and like i said i kind of have been looking for coats but never really had like a, a really fun like fur looking coat aside from like the coats my grandmother gave me from like the 50s and 60s i still have those in my closet can't wait to have an opportunity to wear those but yeah oh i gotta take a thumbnail on this is it even worth showing I don't know if this is worth showing like it's so out of season at this point but who knows maybe somebody has their eye and they've been looking for something like this <laughs> okay guys
guys, we're kind of in like the home stretch here. So um, we're kind of wrapping up on the clothes. This is totally random, but I wanted to throw this in here because I got this from Old Navy for like $12. And I actually think it's really worth sharing. I haven't worn it yet. But um, I got it to like wear to Pilates or like solid core classes because I'll do that like occasionally when I have the urge. And I really like it. Um, I'm not super confident in my body right now because I haven't really been able to work out the way that I want to. And I also have not really been eating that well. Um, just excuses, I know, but I'm just saying. I'm being honest with y'all. And I got this and I was expecting it to look kind of bad on me because of the reasons that I said. Surprisingly though, it looks like very flattering considering that, you know, I have so much going on right now with my midsection, but I like this. I did buy it in a few other colors, but I decided to just kind of stay away from my typical colors like browns and blacks and I got navy. So this is actually navy blue, if you guys can't tell. And it has like a very scoop, um, low back. And it's very form fitting, but it's not like squishing me um, and giving me like a muffin top. Like I actually, again, said that I planned on wearing this to like solid core. It's super convenient, one piece. Um, you know, just wear some underwear. You don't have to necessarily wear a bra for like something like salad core because it's kind of lower impact. Um, and I would not recommend wearing this though without a sports bra if you're gonna be actually like working out or running, etc. But the material is nice. It's kind of just like a spandex material. The price again was great. I did have it in chocolate brown, but I decided to return it. And I just wanted to do something different. So I got navy blue, but let me know what you guys think. I, I'm gonna highly recommend it though, even though again, I haven't worked out in it yet, but I think it fits really well and I thought it was really like accommodating for me, especially kind of with what I'm going through like physically. So I also got it in like a periwinkle color, so I'm gonna show you that one as well. You see why I got it in this color? Like, wait, hold on, I feel like my camera just went down. Okay, you see why I got it in this color? Like, this color is popping. Okay, and now because it's not such a dark color, you guys can see what I'm talking about like in the midsection area. I still feel like this is very flattering. Like I just ate, I told y'all I keep doing this where I always eat or drink right before my videos. Don't know why I keep doing that, but basically very bloated right now. And I feel like this is still like totally acceptable to wear. Like I don't, like I literally could go out right now with just this and I would, I would, I'm not gonna lie, I would feel pretty okay. Because I do really just like this. I love the scoop neck. I love the color. Like the color is very flattering. And I think I'm gonna just be ready to go. Ready to, to hit the solid core, hit the reformer. Is that what it's called, the reformer? Yeah. So let me know what you guys think of this, but don't sleep on a navy. I don't know if you guys remember, maybe like a year or a year and a half ago, they had those jeans that I did a review on, the fits everybody jeans. So I got the ones that fit everybody between a size two and six. And y'all, to my surprise, they did fit my ass. Like, and I'm pretty much a size six or eight generally in women's sizes, not juniors. It fit me, it fit me, okay? So Old Navy, don't sleep on them, especially their athletic clothes, because this very well could have been in Lululemon for $80, $100, or maybe more, and y'all would have bought it when you could have gotten it at Old Navy for $12. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, y'all, you made it to the end, okay? This is the last of the clothing items. I'm gonna go all the way back so you can get a full view, but this is a Skims dress. I got it on sale from Nordstrom and I love it because y'all know gray is one of my favorite like neutral tone colors, but this I especially love because it's like a blue tone gray. And I actually just got this bag from Marshalls. Don't worry you guys, I'm gonna do a Marshalls haul. Um, but I actually got this blue 
damn, I almost fell again. I actually got this blue kind of like bag um, that's like kind of a dupe for the Jody bag by Bottega Veneta. Um, this is actually a very good dupe. It's even better than my dupe that I got from Amazon and it was $30. And I was gonna return it because I was like, I really wanted the denim Jody bag, but it was like three or $4,000 and I was like, I could do it because I get so much use out of my other Jody bag, but I just didn't want it to. So I was like, what if I buy this baby blue one that I see at Marshall's and pretend that it's denim instead of just baby blue leather? But it's not the same. Denim is denim and denim is kind of like wearing white, black, it's tan or beige or, or gray, like it's a neutral color. But for some reason I was like, it's a little playful on the eyes to put these two together because they look like different shades of each other, you know? So I'm thinking about keeping this for that reason. But yeah, I love this dress. Look, argue with your drunk uncle at the function, but Skims makes some of the best loungewear. And I just don't feel like this is really up for debate. Like, it stretches into another dimension. Like, almost everything stretches. It, the quality is great. I, I don't know what to tell you. The only thing I could possibly complain about is the money. But even then, I'm never gonna say that it's not worth the money because I absolutely think it is. I just think that, you know, it really adds up. Like, I wish it wasn't as expensive as it is, but I can't sit there and be like, oh, it's bad quality, it's not worth it because I totally think it's worth the money. Like, there are a lot of things, like sometimes I'll go in a store and I'll be like, $5,000 for these pair of boots? But then I'll see a $5,000 pair of boots that I think are worth $5,000. And this, I think this is worth, you know, $80. But I pay like $50, 50 something dollars. But I'm just saying, if they had this in other colors on sale, I would have bought it. But I tried it out and I really like it. So it leads me to believe that I should probably get a few more because y'all know that I have a very broad shoulders and my way of like combating that insecurity is to actually wear things that actually show off my shoulders. So as odd as that sounds, I wear a lot of tank tops. I love tube tops. I love off the shoulder items because it helps me combat my fear of like looking like a man because I feel like wearing things like this are actually like very feminine and it helps me actually feel more secure in my insecurities. I don't know if that makes sense, but it does to me. <laughs> but yeah, and on top of that, it's giving body on yacht like Look at the butt, okay? Oh, oh. And it goes down to my ankles too. And I could even pull it down further, like. Yes, 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 Kim. Yes. I don't think Skins is going out anytime soon. Actually, one of my first videos that actually got like several thousand views on my channel was me doing a Skims review. And I only had like four or five items. That's what I could afford at the time. And that, got like six or seven thousand views and probably people may still be even be watching that video i don't know it's old now but i'm just saying i i love skims and i think that i would love to kind of partner with them honestly because there's so many other things i would try if i had the budget for it but it's like you can spend a thousand dollars at skims like that like that so but yeah you guys that's the end of the clothing portion Stick around if you have a few moments. I'd love to kind of show you um, some shoes that I got and a few little accessories. Okay guys, um, let's get into a few accessories. So um, I'm gonna start off with shoes first, I think. This shoe, I'm not like, I didn't buy this, so this is definitely not my style. Actually, let me look at it first. I think this is something I should just keep in my car, honestly. Um. They are these fit flops. I'm not even honestly sure what this is about. But, like I don't know what why it's called a fit flop. Like does it tone your legs? Like what is it? I don't know, but I went to an event and they gave, fit flop was there and they gave me these shoes. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. They're not really my style, but they are so comfortable. That's why I'm gonna keep a pair in my car. But I wish I got a size smaller, honestly. They told me to size up because they didn't have any half sizes, but I do think I could have gotten away with a size eight, but these are a size nine. So, um, yeah. 
Not too much to say about these, but they're like a bright orange coral color. Got them for free, but still adding them to the haul because it's, it's new to me. Okay, let's get into stuff I actually ordered though. So I got these shoes from a Pretty Little Thing and I was looking for some kind of classy shoes. Again, I was still looking for like a mesh type shoe and I came across these. Hold on, let me try to organize it a little bit nicer for you guys so you can like visually see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna try to link them down below too. But they are like, like I don't know what type of shoe this is. Like, would you call it like a slingback kind of? Um, I don't know what it's like when it goes around your ankle and it doesn't. Like if it was just this, I would call it a slingback. But with the ankle part, I'm not sure what this is called. But I love these. I can't wait to have an opportunity to wear these. And what I like about these is I think it's something I can wear all year round. Like I can wear with tights. I can wear it, um, you know, bare, like just showing my legs, just put my regular feet in there. And um, I love that it's dressy, but I think that I could also find a way to make this a little bit casual with like the right outfit or jeans, etc. So I really like these. Let me try them on to, to remember why I fell in love with them in the first place. And to be honest with you, pretty little thing, it's like you never know what you're really going to get when you shop at stores like this. Um, but I've always willing and ready to like try things out a pretty little thing and fashion over and stuff. Um, well, more so pretty little thing, honestly, in Shein and in stores like that, because they have such a great return policy. Like for pretty little thing, they literally charge you four or $5 to return stuff. And for me, that's worth it for me to try a bunch of stuff out and whatever doesn't work, take it back. But Fashion Nova will only give you a store credit. So yeah, these are fire. Like I'm trying to sh show you guys. I, I try not to put too much stuff like on my feet and show it to you guys, even though that's obviously the best way to show you things. But um, I don't know, YouTube is weird about that kind of stuff. Maybe it's because people have foot fetishes. I don't know. Like I've definitely got a few DMs about my feet and a few emails. People wanted to pay for my pedicure. I was like, you can pay for my pedicure, but hell no, I'm not sending you no pictures of my feet. Like, what do you want with that? I don't know, maybe if he was my man, I'd let you pay for my pedicure and send you a picture of my feet. But even then, that's still kind of weird. But, um, but yeah, so just use your imagination. <laughs> but I really do like those and I think that they're really cool. Classy, you know, elevated. We're trying to be a little more classy. And then I got these, if I could open it. I got these from Shein and I thought they were so cool. Like this time last year, everybody was getting ready for Renaissance. So I just fell in love with everything silver. And normally I'm a gold girl, but I wanted a pair of silver heels. Um, and these were kind of tight, but I bought a size up and they were too big. So I decided to return it and get the tight size again. So that's kind of what I have going on now, but I'm hoping that they stretch. Let me see, I'm looking at myself. Y'all, these are so fire. Like y'all can't even see, like, hold on. Let me try the other side. Oh, y'all can't even see though. These are so fire. Like I love these and I hope that they kind of stretch out a little bit as I wear them, but it's just such a, a classic silhouette, you know? But I've never seen like such, I love this shade of silver. It's, it's giving chrome, like I can't wait to wear these somewhere. Give me a reason to wear these. Where can I go? What can I do? But um, these were a little bit pricey. I think that these were like $40. I could be wrong, maybe they were like 25, but I did get them off Shein and I love them. Like I absolutely love them, can't wait. This was this is gonna fill such a void in my closet, like such a void. Because I do wear a lot of like silver, um, like purses and things like that. So I, it's nice to have silver shoes to match a silver purse or at least silver hardware on a purse. Mm. 
hold on. Next, I want to show you guys these earrings. I'm going to take off my, my regular earrings so I can show you. I don't know. To be honest, I could have returned these because they are a little bit weird. Like, I thought they both are like two of the same earring. And I thought that maybe one would go like... One would hug my face this way and one would hug my face this way. But these are like literally two of the same shaped earrings. So it looks a little weird to me when I put it on, but I'll let you guys see. Like, I feel like because of that, it falls like at a strange place. Okay, so these are the earrings. Um, what do we think? Like, I don't think that they do a ton for me, but for some reason I didn't want to return them. So I'm thinking I'm going to save these for like a vacation. But I definitely think that they're kind of weird. <laughs> like, I, I'm not obsessed with them. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and then I also got this like off-white. <laughs> I also got this off-white notepad from the same um, place that I got. I think it's called HBX. Um, but I got it from the same place that I got um, the kid super shirt, which was the first item I showed. And I thought it was just like a fun kind of like kitschy outfit because like how looks an off-white notepad? That's really cool. Like I love that brand. Um, very sad that unfortunately we lost Virgil Abloh, what, a year or two ago or a year and a half ago to cancer. Cancer freaking sucks. Like, but I love Off-White. I loved it when he was creative director, but yeah. I don't know, I just thought this would be fun for my office. So it's cool and I love how it has like the cutouts and it's just so different. Like this looks like a luxury notepad to me. It's definitely over the top. And then I got this hat because I love just a Yankees hat, but it has to be this style. Like it has to be this style. I don't like the dad style. Like it has to be this type of Yankees hat. And I have one in black. I want one in navy blue and I want one in tan. I never thought that I would get one in red, but this uh, store had this on sale and I got it and I actually quite liked it. So I saved this for when I have like bad hair days or I wanna wear my hair in a ponytail. But I really love this and I cannot wait to have a reason to wear this. But I love a good cap. I'm gonna tighten this a lot because I like to wear my, um, my caps like pretty tight on my head. But yeah, I like this. Let me know what you guys think. I love a good Yankees cap to like make outfits a little bit like less serious. Um, sometimes I'll take a really dressy outfit, like even a blazer and stuff, and I'll put on a Yankees cap with it or just to add a little just interest to a, um, an outfit and to remind people that I'm from the Empire State. Like I'm from New York, like I'm a New Yorker and I hope one day I can get back to New York. So, okay, okay, um, and then we also have something from Tom. Tom, what do you think it is? Okay, come on, y'all know I'm not, I, I'm not at the level where I can buy Tom Ford. Like, I probably could, but it'd have to be on sale. But I got this fragrance. I actually have quite a story about this fragrance. So I went to a party maybe like a month ago now. And this really popular DJ, um, you know, he was doing the set at the function. And I didn't really know him at the time, um, but I figured him out because eventually he like said, follow me on Instagram. So, um, but he walked by and I didn't know it was him that was smelling so good, but he walked, somebody walked by and they smelled amazing. But I got outside and my, the first thing my friend told me was like, dang, did you smell that? Somebody smells so good. And I was like, oh my God, you smell that too? <laughs> like I thought it was just me. And she's like, no, somebody smells really good. And then he actually walked by and I was like, oh my God, it's you. You smell amazing. And I was like, you have to tell me what you're wearing. And he said he was wearing this. He was wearing Tom Ford's ombre leather mixed with another fragrance, which I won't show you. I won't share what the other fragrance was out of like his privacy, because maybe he don't want people smelling like him. But he told me and I was so embarrassed, you guys. This guy smelled so good. 
that I literally could not stop smelling him. Like I could not, I was all up in this man's neck and I was so embarrassed, but I could not, it's like, I was, my nose was like drawn to him like a magnet. Like I could not stop. And he was having a conversation with somebody I was not listening to a damn thing he said. And I was like all up in the man's neck like this. <laughs> and eventually I think it got awkward for him because he just like grabbed me up and like started hugging me. Um, yeah, I think to kind of make things less awkward, but I didn't care how awkward things were and I knew it was wrong, but I just could not stop. Like he smelled amazing, like so amazing. Um, and he was wearing this. So what I love about this, let me see if I can find some of the notes because me telling you how good it smells is, I don't think that's enough of a, a reason for you to go out and potentially buy this fragrance. Um, so it's supposed to be a warm, spicy scent, layerable scent, it, it's actually unisex. So I was actually very happy to hear that because a lot of the times people kind of think it's weird, but I actually buy like masculine scents. Like I love ombres, I, um, sorry, I love ambers, I love, um, Ouds, patchoulis, woods, um, leathers, Palo Santo. Well, I guess that's kind of like wood, but but this is actually unisex. It's genderless, and I love that. So it's in the fragrance family of warm and spicy scent type, woody spice. And the key notes are black leather, violet, which I've never smelled violet before, and jasmine. So I actually really like that. And the fragrance description is a tactile sensuality of rich black leather textured with addictive patchouli and vetiver, vetiver? Um, envelopes like a second skin. The perfume's floral tones of jasmine, sandback conjure, wild desert beauty, while layers of amber and moss mimic the heat of rock and sand. I have to agree with that. I mean, that's kind of like a strange way to describe this, but it's definitely, I love it. And I got this at Nordstrom. Yeah, I am pissed because I could have saved so much money. Like I could have got twice the size at Fragrance Net, but I had a Nordstrom gift card that I wanted to use. So I bought it from Nordstrom, but I'm just saying I could have gotten 3.4 ounces for the same price. Or if I bought this at fragrance.net and I bought a lot of fragrances, they, they're all real authentic fragrances. So I could have got the 3.4 ounce for $200. But no, I got 1.7 ounces for $200. That's all I'm saying. Could have saved some coin. But you, if you buy it um, and you have like a gift card or like any points or anything, I'd say maybe go to like Sephora or Nordstrom or Saks or someplace like that and try it out first. But if you decide that you like it and you're gonna spend cash, save your coin and buy it from like um, an indirect place like fragrance.net. But y'all, that's all I got for you guys today. Look at me, I'm being a little bit more consistent. I know you guys love the hauls. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I actually, probably, I have so much energy right now. I think I'm gonna do another haul. I have bought so much stuff recently. It's called being an adult. And it's called like, not wanting to heal your problems and fix your issues but shopping instead. That's what it's giving. That's what it's giving. But yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what your favorite item or items were, and I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye. Will you lead me to paradise?